Hi, this is Thomas Farley, and I am. I recorded this video at Red Rock Canyon near Las Vegas, trying to show the process of connecting to the bird and trying some other services. So here I'm fighting glare. I've set up the timer on this iPad, make sure that it's disconnected. No Bluetooth, no wireless network, nothing to interfere with the wireless connection that the SatFi 2 establishes. Here I've just turned on, you press the button for three seconds. You see those lights cycling? That will change once it connects here with the iPhone's Wi-Fi network. So it'll, it'll be a while and I will show what happens. I thought I was in a dead zone here with no cellular coverage, but it turned out later that there was some cellular available, so I had to shut off the data to the cellular data on the phone, which you'll see coming up. Once it does make a, a Wi-Fi connection to the phone, I will place the SatFi on top of my cab. So it'll be only three feet or so away from the iPhone. And again, the reason I'm doing it inside the cab here is just to eliminate the glare. Okay, you can see it's starting to blink like that. Now we should have a wireless Wi-Fi connection to the phone. Let's see if we can show that. All right, I just clicked to make it a little more obvious. You can see SatFi 2 in the glare somehow right there. So now I'm looking around for the SatFi app. We click that. And now we're going to wait for everything to show up on the screen. And we're going to put the SatFi on top of the cab immediately above the above the iPhone now this is see I didn't see that pop-up message there I'll come back to it in a second that's on the iPhone I didn't see that at first and that's telling me that there's a cellular network or at least cellular data available and you don't want that if you're testing in, in an area with cellular coverage. You want it to work off the bird completely. So I've told it just to rely on Wi-Fi. So right now we're, well, actually we're connected at this point. See that little triangle? I'll zoom in on the video later. We've got a connection going between the SatFi 2 and the phone. We don't have a connection to the satellite yet. That'll take a while to establish, but we're only at the three minute mark. This is very typical. Much better when you're in a complete dead zone with no RF radio frequency interference. Okay, see it dropped out again and then it came back in. This connection between the phone and the SatFi unit itself comes and goes sometimes. So there's the little satellite icon. So we're ready to do whatever. In this case, I'm fumbling around here. I want to send a message, but I forgot that you want to queue up your messages first. You want to compose them and then send them. And saves a lot of time. Okay, here's a message. I'm going to stop the video and maybe go back at this point. Okay, to make this clear, I had actually made a message, I had composed a message beforehand and queued it up. You can do this offline. This is what you should be doing. Compose your messages, queue them up, get them ready to send upon connection. There's a setting that you can select that will send the message as soon as a connection is made and you'll get a message here it is email message sent that's what you want to look for this came really quickly compared to the other times and this is a 
hookup I have with my Fastmail account. But you're looking for some verification that the email was sent, and you'll get it. But this flashed by really quickly. And again, it's really important. Compose your emails before time, beforehand, and it's a lot simpler than typing everything out in real time. Now this is an experiment with the Satfy browser, and it's pretty dependable. They don't have any way to bookmark that I've found so far. So here I'm going to be fumbling back to my files, files folder in the iPhone, and I know it's a lot of glare, but I'm looking, looking, looking for the file folder, which you have to get acquainted with, and unfortunately I have a folder within the file folder. And here is a list of low bandwidth sites, uh, one of which is CNN, another is NPR, the, maybe the BBC has one. So copy and then get out of that. Find the application, go back to the browser, enter that in the browser window. This is the Satfy browser. Again, I need to find out if it accepts bookmarks, but uh, I've got a good connection with the satellite, so we'll see what uh, see what works. And and you know it's going to take a while, but the fact that it works at all is amazing. And here I think this is CNN's. Yeah, CNN. I don't know of a conservative low bandwidth site yet. And here I'm clicking on a story, and up it comes. So text base is actually you know, pretty speedy. Even on a, this is essentially a 56K modem. We're at 543. We've sent email. We've read the news. And things are working fine.